Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO expanded video. Yes, we are going to be doing some expanded content. Now, there is a big expanded tourney coming up. Uh, Dallas and Anaheim are both coming up, so expanded is looking like we're going to be getting some play. And we do have some Lost Hunter cards we haven't looked at in expanded. And the one that I have chosen today is Macargo GX, because I really like it. I think it has potential thanks to Blacksmith. Same with Blacephalon. But I am going to be looking at some Lost Thunder expanded decks, converting some Lost Thunder cards into expanded. Before I get into the video, I do want to say I have made my webcam a little bit bigger. As you can see, I have kind of made it bigger. I don't like having big webcams. A lot of the times, it takes up a lot of room on the gameplay screen. But the small webcam looked pretty trash, in my opinion. So I was like, okay, I should probably make the webcam a bit bigger. So if you guys like the bigger webcam, let me know. Do you guys want me to shrink it back down? It's up to you. Um, anyways, let's get into today's deck, of course. It is Expanded Macargo, which has potential thanks to Blacksmith and other stuff. So Macargo GX is a very interesting card it's got 210 hp a pretty cool ability crushing charge once during turn before you attack you may discard the top card of your deck if that is a basic energy card attach it to one of your pokemon so really cool ability here that could probably see more play outside of macargo if i'm be honest with you i might consider that down the road and then we have two attacks both of which are good uh we got lava flow which for three energy is 50 base and then you may discard any number of basic energy cards attached to Macargo GX and for each one you discard does 50 more damage which is good because you're already doing 50 damage on its own with Lava Flow so you can hit for like up to uh, like 200 damage 3 energy discards is 200 damage that's pretty impressive so you can hit some pretty cool numbers with Lava Flow so that is what we're going to be aiming for there so we are going to be using that and then we also have Burning Magma discard the type of cards of your opponent's deck can be kind of useful in like a Houndoom Mill who knows maybe Houndoom Mill is going to make the comeback I don't know. I get it, though. But yeah, that is it. Macargo's Lava Flow. Now, Macargo's Lava Flow in Standard, we do rely heavily on energy attachments and crushing charge with the other Macargo to build ourselves up, which is fine and dandy. But in Expanded, we have access to Blacksmith, which is really all we need. Attach two Fire Energies from your Discord Pile to one your Pokemon. After you get rid of two Energies, you get them right back on. It's very easy to just ramp up energy on this thanks to Blacksmith, the ability, and the energy attachment for turn. So that's a very scary combo. And that's what we're going to be aiming for, is Blacksmith Macargo. And, of course, we do have it with the other Mercargo. We smooth over, guarantees us an energy for its ability. So, yeah, that's kind of why we got two smooth overs. And, other than that, it's a very simple Mercargo list. Um, there's not that many other things going on in here other than just, like, niche Pokemon to help us out in certain situations. It's mainly just all about Mercargo. Uh, we are playing some Slugmas. Of course, we got the ADHP Slugma here. There is an ADHP one with a dandy two retreat cost instead of a three retreat cost. Though it is recommended to maybe consider playing, like, a slugma with um that does more damage per se if you run into like a hoopa you kind of screwed not gonna lie hoopa would screw you over pretty badly um so if you really wanted to you could play the other slugmas uh there's actually quite a few slugmas to look at here um if you want you can play this one instead because flamethrower does 60 it's up to you though and uh we got some other niche Pokemon. Of course, we are playing a multiple copies of Lele. I'm playing a heavy line of Lele to guarantee, like, turn one bridge. It's very important to bridge in this deck to be able to set up a bunch of Slugmas, um, but also maybe Lele for Blacksmith. So I'm going to be playing a heavy copy of three Tapu Lele GXs and a bunch of other niche basic Pokemon for certain situations. First off, we got Ditto Prism Star just here for that fifth Slugma. Uh, we are playing one of Rank Guru for draw support, but also Rank Guru is a very good card with Smooth Over Macargo. I am playing one Oracorio for Night March when I tested this deck. Night March was a bit of an issue, so I ran Oracorio just for that Night March matchup. And it's also good to maybe get extra damage on the board to hit better numbers with Lava Flow. And one Sudowoodo, of course, here for those Skyfield Zoark decks. They are such a popular deck right now and expanded. We kind of need to play Sudowoodo for those situations. Even if they have Muck, it does not matter. We need Sudowoodo help against those matchups. That's it for the Pokemon. There are some other niche attackers you can play. Stuff like Victini. I can't spell. Bikini Prism Star would be okay, but because we have Blacksmith, we don't really need it, if I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, Turnator GX something I also like in this deck for Nitro Tank and Bright Flame. We don't play Volk EX, but you can also play Volk EX if you really want to. Of course, you cannot do Steam Up with Macargo. Um, you can do a Slugma, which is funny, then you might want to run the other Slugma, I guess. But we can play Volk, because this is a Water type. If we run into, like, a Fire deck in Expanded, we have that Water type attacker. So there's, like, some benefits to playing Volk in this deck if you really want to go that route. It is up to you. Uh, you can also play Baby Volk if you want also. Uh, but that's mainly it. We're just going to be focusing on Macargo GX. There's actually not a lot of room for other things in this deck, I found. Uh, going to the items now. Two Battle Compressor. You know, it can be good to get rid of some energy or a Blacksmith and be a secret for it on, like, turn two. And then come out of nowhere with a really big Lava Flow. That's why we're playing two Battle Comps. One Computer Search. Best Ace spec in the game. I'm playing one Evo Soda to get our Macargo in play. 
I am also playing a one stretcher, one rod split. You could play two rods to get energy back if you really wanted to. I'm also playing one copy of Max Potion. Of course, Max Potion would be really good with my cargo. 2 HP is pretty tanky. But sometimes you'll have no energy on my cargo. You just max potion it out of nowhere and heal it. You can also combo that with bodybuilding dumbbells, which I'll talk about in a minute. Let's get up a lot against Zoark DX. Um, four Ultra Balls to get your Pokemon. Four via Secret for supporters. Two Stadiums. Um, I do have a Scorched Earth Heat Factory split. They are both the base is the same thing, except Heat Factory, you draw one extra card. I am considering dropping the Scorched Earth though to find room for like another card I can put in this deck, like another draw supporter or another energy or like another like attacker or something. If I'm gonna be honest with you, but yeah, we do have the two splits. It's good to have a counter stadium. Uh, three copies of Blacksmith, of course, very important. I am playing two Bridgets in case we do prize one of them because again, we always want to get a nice turn of Bridget off for Slugmas. One Chorus because we usually have a big board state. One Cynthia, one and three Sycamores. A little bit less on the draw side, but we have smooth over, so we're always guaranteed to get stuff at the end of the day. One copy of Guzma to be able to, you know, Guzma stuff out. Uh, I am playing one Bodybuilding Dumbbells. Really good with Macargo. You give it 250 HP, it becomes a massive tank. Combo that with Max Potion, Macargo becomes pretty scary. I am playing two copies of Choice Ban. Really important to hit like 230 on like a Gardevoir or like a Zoark GX for that matter. One Floatstone. I really want to play two. That's like the one card I want. That's why I'm like saying I might take out Scorch Earth for like a second Floatstone. Because a lot of big retreaters in this deck. Macargo all has three retreat costs. Instead of Widow and Ranguru have a two retreat cost. And 11 basic Pharyngees is the energy count I've gone with. And yeah, that is my expanded Macargo list. I really like Macargo and expanded. I think it does work. It does have the potential. Let's go find some games on PC Joe. See an action expanded, and uh, we'll see what we can end up finding in the expanded format. All right, guys, let's go do some games with Macargo here. See what we play against. There is a lot of, like, non-serious competitive decks, like Rodom, Unknown decks, Latios Donk. So hopefully don't run into any of those decks, because those are just... They're not competitive. You're never going to see those decks in a major tournament. So we got to hopefully avoid those. Uh, but I think we're going to Seismitoad, which is actually really, really bad. Seismitoad, I think, can beat us. Quaking Punch is very hard to deal with, I think. We'll see if it's Seismitoad or not. If I... It could also be Archie's Blastoise. I think it actually is. I was expecting to see Grass, though. So maybe it's not. It's either Seismitoad or it's Archie Blastoise. We'll have to find out. Gotta hope it's none of the above, actually. Gotta hope it's none of the above. Alright, we do win the coin flip, which is pretty good. Hopefully we can get something good going. Mm, not the greatest hand. We do some good things with Heat Factory, though. And potentially, maybe hit like a Bridget. Or a Supporter, I don't know. Rainbow Energy, okay. We're rubbing into something completely different. This is something I don't even know what to expect, to be honest with you. Ooh, we get to draw three cards, don't mind if I do. Oh, really? Okay, well, I mean, whatever. I'll... He's playing Nido King. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, wow, we actually... Okay, we didn't really get much there. We'll Ultra Ball Way and Energy and a Battle Compressor. We'll just grab Lele. Do we have our Bridgets? We do. I mean, we got double Macargo, which is pretty good. So we'll play down the Tapu Lele GX. We'll grab Bridget. Those energies are good too for uh, Blacksmith. Basically, I just draw like seven cards there, which is kind of nice. We'll just go double. Okay, we got. Unfortunately, prize both Ditto and the four Slugma. That sucks. So I'm probably just going to get a Ranguru. I could grab Soda Widow, but I don't really think it's needed in this matchup. We'll just attach an energy and pass. We're not going to get knocked out next turn. It's kind of where, like, Muscle Man would be nice, and I don't have to get rid of two energies on Macargo GX to knock out Vulpix. It's fine, though. We'll see if he bumps our stadium. Don't know what stadium he would play other than, I guess, Shrine of Punishments. But in an expanded deck like this, I don't even know if he has room for Shrine. Shrine takes up room. You need, you need Bear Candy and all that good stuff. He might not even have room for Shrine of Punishments. I don't even know if he's playing a Lola Ninetales GX. I didn't see a sink. I didn't see Fairy in the uh, type, so he may not even be playing anything. We'll see. We'll see what he's actually playing. Assuming it's just Nido King or Nido Queen. I don't even remember what they do. Ooh, he's gonna end me. Okay, that's fine. We lose both Macargos, which is a bummer. We actually had a pretty good hand too. We could have done a lot there with the Ranguru Ultra Ball and stuff, but that's fine. Ooh. Okay, we got Bot. He concedes. <laughs> Macargo is just so good. Makes people concede very quickly. I was expecting that. 
I kind of want to put a field blower in this deck too, by the way. To be honest. Okay, so, ooh. Fire, uh, this is probably Rodom. I'm assuming it's Rodom. Again, I told you we would play against these dumb decks. Like, ugh. Rodom, Unknown, Latios, Donk are all, like, they're decks that, like, they're not competitive. And, yeah. that I said we were playing against one, and here we are. Here we are. Alright, let's see what we get. Wow, this is a bad hand if I've ever seen one. If Ditto doesn't survive, we lose probably because there's nothing on the bench. There's no other cards in my hand. I can bench. Yikes. Okay, good. It's not. He's playing electric. I will happily take that. He's going to attach and pass. We can go Macargo next turn. Bit of a bad hand though, I'm not going to lie. Hopefully we can make something work here. I might just Guzma and bring out this bench Slugma instead trap something on the act if he benches like a set of Wudo or an Oranguru or something I can like try and stall it out by a turn or two no just a tackle for 10 okay drew another slugma I mean sure might as well evolve ditto I am gonna play the ability this does help us thin a little bit which we need to do oh that is a bad one okay I can always super hot it back but I'm not going to we're just gonna burning magma hopefully not hit a bunch of energy that'd be great Ooh. Okay, we actually hit quite a bit of good cards. We hit an Electro Power, and we hit his Stadium. That's really powerful. That was a really good Burning Magnum. Glad we didn't give him any energy either. So yeah, it looks like he's playing an Electric Baby Box, I'm guessing. Like, with Electro Power, it's interesting. I do want to try out Electric with Zero Aura. I'm trying to get a Zero Aura right now. I don't know why, Zerora is still really expensive, though it's not really one of the best cards in the new set. But I don't know. I had to make this stuff up. Okay, he's gonna drop a Tapu Coco. That is something we gotta watch out for if we ever have a bunch of energy in play. And, ooh, the fact that he's bringing it out is really interesting. Alright, we drew Ranguru, that makes that discard hurt a little bit less, I guess. I might as well just play Super Rod so I can draw the extra card here. Struck for two. Hopefully we can hit Macargo or like Supporter. No more energy. Oh, he actually concedes again. Oh my goodness. Apparently Macargo in Expanded is just so good it's making everyone concede right away. Ooh, he's even, yeah, he's also playing a Macargo engine. Interesting list. I'm actually surprised he conceded. He could have knocked me out if he had the, all the right cards in his hand. He might have gotten a knockout with Coco. If I didn't hit the energy off that crushing charge, he could have KO'd me because I already had three energies in play. You know, 150, choice ban, a couple, another electro power maybe would have did me in. So, I guess that's fine. Sure. All right. Well, another game. Looks like we're up against the grass deck, judging from the deck box and the Rowlet of the coin. Got another ditto start. That's fine. Got Lele. I don't even know if I want to do Bridget considering we don't have the greatest of hands. Hopefully we can maybe draw an energy so I can do Scorched Earth or something, or maybe just top like a supporter. Another Ultra Ball would be great. So he's probably playing Decidueye, yep. Nice, we drew an energy, so we'll drop Lele for Bridget. See what we prize. Okay, everything seems to be it. It's all that matters. Hopefully we can evolve Ditto. I don't think we'll get KO'd. I doubt he could drop a Lele and knock us out. Something to watch out for. Now, I don't know if he's playing Zork or not, but I am going to get Soda Widow just in case. And we'll Scorched Earth. See what we get. Nice, we got Ultra Ball. As long as it doesn't drop a Soda Widow, we can get Lele. That's not bad. We got three Macargos, so we can triple Macargo next turn, which is pretty good. So he's going to Ultra Ball, probably for his own Bridget, I'm guessing. Gonna get rid of Field Blower and a DCE. Wow, pretty big discard. I'm glad he got rid of Field Blower. That's really good. Bodybuilding Dumbbells could be pretty useful, I would reckon. In a deck like this that chips away at your health. Yep, yeah, he's gonna grab Lele. He's gonna do a Bridget here, most likely. We'll see if he's playing Zork Decidueye or not. I mean, the only Decidueye deck I can think of is Ninetales Decidueye. I don't know how that would translate into Expanded. So this is almost... Most likely a Zork Decidueye. I don't even know what the types were. I wasn't looking, unfortunately, so I don't really know if he's actually playing, but I'm assuming it's Zork Decidueye. We'll find out, I guess, in just a moment here. But this matchup should be fine. 
considering he's playing Decidueye. Ooh, he's actually only getting two rallies, which is surprising. And we drew a battle comp. All right, so we'll evolve the active, evolve the bench. We can do a lot here. Um, do I even bother battle compressoring? I might as well not even bother. I don't even really. Yeah, I don't really see a point in that. Might as well just get the extra energy back and just go for a big sycamore here. I think that's fine. May as well. Could chorus for eight. Yeah, I probably should have went for chorus. Why? Did, whatever. Who cares? Doesn't. Don't really think it matters. We have scorched earth anyways. Probably though, chorus would have been better. It's fine though. It's fine. Okay. Um. I don't know if we can attack him this turn. I might as well just go for the GX attack and just play it safe. We'll do smooth over for the energy. Yeah, I might as well just play it safe. And just GX attack him, I guess. We could probably hit, hopefully, like another energy. You can obviously get the stuff back with um, his uh, Hollow Hunt GX attack. It's fine, though. Tempted to do another crushing charge. I might as well. We have a pretty stacked hand. Ugh. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Alright, whatever, it's fine. We'll hit him with a GX attack. And, alright. Ooh, he's playing Toad. Oh, shoot. Okay, the stakes are a lot higher now. But we hit a Toad. We hit a Via Seeker, a Belt. That's pretty. And a Rare Candy. Yikes, that was a pretty ugly discard, though, losing that fighting that thing. But I could probably make more use of a Choice Band for Toad. Because then we only have to get rid of the two energies. With Choice Band, we can one-shot him. It's gonna end me, that's fine. He can actually hit me with Lele here for a decent amount of damage because I put that energy on, but I feel like that was a fine enough play, especially if he toads me, we can still ramp up energy to take a big one shot on him. So I'm perfectly fine with that. Wouldn't mind drawing via Seeker or Floatstone here or something so I can like knock out Lele? Perfect. All right, we might as well knock out Tapu Lele GX. We will do this. Probably just burn a couple things. I mean, I think Evo Sudden and Fire Energy can go. No, no. We'll get rid of Max Potion. If he's playing Toad, it'll get to a point where he item locks me. Yeah, yeah we won't need that. I just playing Garboder, obviously not. Alright, so we'll Float Stone, the Macargo. Right? Macargo's fine. Yeah, it's got the bigger retreat cost. Never expect to get Guzma KO this early on, but it's fine. We will destroy his Lele. The only problem is he might have double Decidueye next turn, though we easily deal with Decidueye, so it's not really a big issue. Smooth over. We can do Scorched Earth or just do the ability, which we might as well just do the ability. Wow, we hit an energy. What do you know? I don't know. I'm kidding. That was a pretty bad joke. I know. Um, we can attach the energy to Macargo or pass. I think we'll hold a turn. No, I guess. Yeah, we do need to... We might as well, just in case he toes us something. I don't know. So we got to get rid of three energies here, unfortunately, because we don't have choice band in hand. But we take out that Tapu Lele. We'll take our two prizes. He's down two DCs now. Something to note. We got a Lele and a Slugma. The only thing I'm worried about now is just running out of other basic energies. So we did prize a few. We should be good to carry the rest of this match. If we got Blacksmith in hand. We can take out Decidueye in one hit very easily. We only need to get rid of two energies, which is really nice. We get to save energy in case he does end up quaking punching us at some point. So we get rid of Chorus and a Grass energy. He's gonna grab Toad. There it is! Alright, let's see if he hits a quaking punch this turn. It's not gonna matter. We'll still KO him. Because we don't have the Via Seeker for Blacksmith, we already have it in our hand, which is pretty good. You can always just cut down to two Blacksmith if you really wanted to also, because this deck is consistent with this energy because of the Machar the, the Macargo Crushing Charge Engine. It's a very consistent engine, so like if you really want it, ooh, he's about to triple Decidueye me. He can, he can pick that off too, because I got rid of Max Potion. Ooh, he's going to end me. No, he's going to Chorus me. He's going to Chorus. He's going to Chorus me. That makes no sense. I wish I was getting Chorus. That would be nice. If you want to Chorus me for a hand of nine, I will gladly take it. He's most likely going to hit a very big play here with Toad. He, I don't think he's going to KO me. I'm pretty sure he won't. Like, 
He hits a choice band. He can do 120. He can do up to 160 to me with the situation. Ooh, wow. Silent Fast. That's fine. We won't get Lele in our hand, but it's fine. We, we knock out Sidewise this turn. We'll be good. And all we gotta do is maybe get Via Seeker. Just Via Seeker, get Blacksmith back. Ooh, he's gonna scoop up that Sidewise. It's actually a smart play, because now he can fall that and do another Feather Arrow. Does he have a DC? Again, we did discard two of them. I mean, he didn't just draw a hand of nine, so I wouldn't be surprised. A DC choice ban would be pretty bad because he's going to do a lot of... Ooh, fighting free belt. No choice ban and no knockout. And we drew an energy, which is perfect because we can hit for a nice chunk of damage here. Blacksmith, as you can see, Blacksmith is carrying Macargo to the top. So, one, two, three, 150. Okay, we got to get rid of all the energy here, unfortunately, to get a knockout. Um... Attempt to just get another blacksmith. Yeah, it's fine. Especially if like he knocks us out next turn. Could always happen. We'll just lava flow. We gotta get rid of all our energy because of that fighting fury belt, that's fine. If we had a choice ban, we wouldn't have to. That's fine. We'll take him out. We'll take our two prizes, and at this point, it's pretty easy to win the game. There's another energy, there's an ultra ball. He could end me to two. Oh, he's bringing out Shaman. I'm guessing he's going to Shaman into Dartrix so he doesn't lose. I'm assuming that's his play. Another Chorus for 8. Decidueye and Expanded is always fascinating. I don't know if it is that good, unfortunately. I mean, it's got potential. It is pretty good against um, Night March, I think. He's going to do another Ultra Ball. I'm actually glad he didn't end and Quaking Punch me. That would be pretty bad. But we, got, we know we're going to draw Blacksmith. So if he doesn't... If he brings out Toad and Quaking Punches me, we'll still win the game. As long as he doesn't belt again, I guess. No, even if he belts, we'll still win, because we can do Crushing Charge Smooth Over. Oh, he just passes. Well, that is game. Well, GG. Toad Decidueye. It's an interesting archetype. It is an interesting deck for sure. I've seen it. I've tried it before when Force Champ plants the Weagle. I don't know if it's great with Rare Candy. Toad could have been a huge problem for us. Thankfully, it didn't do one Quaking Punch that entire game, which is amazing. And that's pretty good. So, that was a good match. And, ooh, got a bit of leg there. Ooh, nice. Perfect challenge. All right, well, catch you guys in a minute with another match. And hopefully we get another good game. So, I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, here we go. We're going to do some more games with Cargo. Again, we just got to watch out for some of the decks we don't want to see. And, ooh, Grass Lightning. Hmm. This could be a Grass deck. Which is what we want to see because we're playing fire. Or this could be a lightning deck, judging from the Zero Aura deck box. We'll see. It's one of the two. Hopefully, I don't really know, man, if it's either. Honestly, oh, pretty good hand. Turn on Bridget, Slugma, Heat Factory, Scorched Earth in the same hand. Holy. If we draw an energy, this hand is insane. Probably the best hand we could have asked for, to be honest. Even at Bevo Soda. Ooh, he is playing Zera Aura. Okay, good to know. Uh, we'll bridge it for just, I guess, double slug mine at Ditto. No energy. That's fine. We'll just pass. Probably bump his stadium. We'll play the score shirt before we play Heat Factory. I don't know. Maybe it's... I don't know. Whatever. Now, Zera Aura is another 190 HP attacker. Well, not another, but it's a 190 HP attacker, so we're gonna have to go the extra mile to knock it out with the energies. But we'll see if it's a problem. It does have one shot capabilities, which is scary. So we'll Evo Soda for Macargo GX. So we prized to Macargo GX. That's kind of bad. Kind of bad. We'll Scorched Earth. We'll Ultra Ball. Get smooth over Macargo. We'll wait to do smooth over. Drop Lele for, I guess, Cynthia? If it's in the deck, it's not. Rip. Wow. I can't really end him because all he did was attach and choice band, so we're going to lose our Heat Factory. Ah, that's really annoying. Maybe I just attack. Oh, I don't know. I'm tempted just to just burning magma him. I don't want to lose Heat Factory, man. That sucks. Hmm. Maybe I hold. 
the odds of him knocking me up next turn aren't very high. So, yeah, I think we're just gonna... Just gonna just gonna play the GX attack. We'll play it safe. We'll see if he bumps the state. He could be playing Aether Paradise, which actually makes a little bit a little bit makes it a little bit harder to knock him out. So I might as well just wait wait a turn. No, I, I guess I regret dropping Lele, but whatever. Okay, we got rid of a stadium, and we actually got rid of two energies, which is not very good, obviously, because of that GX attack on Zorora. And perfect. Never gonna regret that. Now, unfortunately, he can KO me here, but no, no electro powers, which is great. Ooh, super. Ugh, that sucks. Whatever. I'll take it. We probably win this turn, too, if we get lucky. Yeah, we're good. We are good. Right, we get energy, smooth over. And that's game. Nice little quick match with Macargo. Didn't expect this game to go by that quick, but it just so happened to go that way. Pretty glad he didn't win either. He, well, not win, but he, he could have KO'd me and then things would have been pretty bad. It's a good thing he didn't get it. You see why this bottom build dumbbells can be good? Because, you know, he could have won that turn if he... Or not won... Why do I keep saying he could have KO'd my Macargo if he had an Electro Power? So it's good that he didn't have one. Yeah, yeah there we go. That was a very fast match. But Macargo can get quick wins with that. That's also why you kind of play Blacksmith. You can also, like, you know, we could have done, like, a Blacksmith play there. And we're going to get a Cobalion GX here. Not a bad card. Better than Legacy, I think. Okay, not bad. We're getting this ladder through. I definitely want to try and finish it. Like, Juniper is pretty tempting. Not going to lie. Juniper is a decent full art. Play, like, one Juniper, three Sycamore. Fairy Fire... F hmm... I don't actually know what this is going to be. We'll find out, though. We'll find out. We win the coin flip. Fuller Juniper is actually one of the only, like, expensive-ish cards that I have in, that's an in-real-life Pokemon card. Okay, so we're going to get an Oracorio Ditto start. I'm tempted just to open with Oracorio, because Ditto is really weak. I don't even know what he's playing. Oh, he's playing Sylveon, isn't he? He is playing Sylveon, I bet. Granbull and Expanded. Okay, I've seen, I've seen weirder. So I think what we do here... He's never going to one-shot me, so I think we can get rid of Body Bone Dumbbells. Now, did we prize a Ranguru? Oh, we did. you got to be kidding me. So I was going to bridge it for a Ranguru so I didn't have to worry about losing this hand. It's actually a little annoying that we prized a Ranguru. Hmm. I don't want to be in top deck mode, but I really need to get Slugmas down. So, we're going to have to just, I guess, reshuffle. Honestly. I, we've got a Ditto, so it's fine. As long as we get one Slugma here. Yeah, we're good. Get rid of Choice Band if he's playing Gramble. Grab the Slugma. And what does this do? Scar two items. So he gave me for 60. You could field blower me, and then we won't be able to retreat right away. I don't want to take damage. I might as well just let Oracorio stay in the active. So be it if he field blowers me, whatever. I doubt he will. We'll call his bluff that he will. Expanded Gramble's interesting. I don't. I mean, Gramble does have way more cards. Oh, he's going to judge me. Gramble has way more to work with in Expanded than in Standard in terms of getting your hand size low. But is it really better? I don't know. Can I go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Night March? I don't know. Okay, so... If we had a Macargo GX, this hand would be pretty nice. So we'll just... Might as well play this, get rid of like at least one card that we won't need. We'll get rid of both Bridgets. So they're basically used to this point. Could have got rid of energy, but we're not going to. If I had Macargo GX, I would have. Alright, we just barely got a Macargo GX also. So, grab Macargo. And we're going to have to just play his GX attack, I guess. Which, again, we'll see if we hit anything useful. Hopefully we get rid of three Grambles. We got rid of two Grambles! Whew, not bad. He might have a stretcher in his hand, though, but we still got rid of two Grambles. 
We also got rid of a Shrine and a Macargo, so not bad. I think we got rid of an Ultra Ball too, yeah. I think we did, because he judged and got a Ranguru off it. So yeah, I think we hit some pretty good cards there with Burning Magma. Two Grambles is perfect. I even called it. I was like, hopefully we just hit a bunch of Grambles, and look at that, we hit a bunch of Grambles. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, I knew he had a stretcher. He might actually play the shuffle effect because I got rid of three Pokemon, but no, he's actually just going to get Gramble back. And I'll see if he's able to attack me for 160 damage. And if he does, it'd be a little scary. We'll see. We'll see if he hits it. He's gonna Apricorn Maker. He still needs an energy, don't forget. <laughs> if he doesn't find energy, he's not gonna be able to hit it. We'll see if he finds it. He's gonna get an S Ball Ultra Ball. He's probably gonna get Slugma here. Yep. And let's see if he knocks me out. Or not knocks me out, but hits me for his max damage. Gets rid of a Plumeria and a Diantha. For another Oranguru. Okay. So Soto Widow might actually be pretty useful here, I think. We can find it. Thankfully, it's just like one Blacksmith, one Crushing Charge combo to KO. Because we only get rid of two energies, so Blacksmith can carry us through this match. He's got a Palpad. Probably get back Diantha and Apricorn Maker, I'm guessing. Mm. Plumeria, that's a really weird card to, for him to get back. It's not really going to do much in this matchup because of Blacksmith. I mean, I know it's a discard card, but still. Alright, now let's see if he's able to get rid of his hand and attack me. No, he does not. Beautiful. Nice. So, we drew an Ultra Ball. Might as well just do this, honestly. My, we have a pretty good hand. We're not getting knocked out next turn, so... We can kind of just afford to just Lava Flow. Oh, we need to get rid of two energies, thankfully. He might play Bodybuilding Dumbbells, but we only need to get rid of... Two energies consistently will take our prize. Max Potions Hype. That's a really good card. If we can draw an energy, we can make use of Max Potion here. Okay, let's see what he does. An Apricorn Maker. He can get. Uh, he still needs to get him a cargo. We did get rid of one. I don't think he prizes other ones, but we'll see. It's possible. Expanded Gramble, though, is very interesting. I don't even know this is really an expanded list. There's. He's played nothing so far to tell me it's expanded. No, other than Muscle Band. Never mind. Everything else has been standard. Apricorn Maker, Judge, Shrine, Great Balls. Ooh, wow. He actually hit his last. One of his Grambles off that. That's impressive. We gotta hope we draw an energy, because we'll be able to do a max potion here, which will swing things a little bit. If not, we can just be a secret blacksmith, get another uh, Macargo. Probably want to get Smooth Over going, though, soon, too. He's gonna Ultra Ball, get rid of Plumeria and Treasure, probably for Macargo, so... Yep, we'll see if he's able to Macargo for the right cards to KO me. Or not... Why do I keep saying KO? He's not gonna KO me unless, like... There's some crazy fairy card that I don't think exists. He has used a lot of his Ultra Ball, so he's played three so far. So, he's run out of cards to lower his hand size. Basically, he has to hit an energy and, like, two cards he can burn from his hand. And you only guarantee one card to do that because of Smooth Over. So, and he's probably looking for fairy energy, so. Unless he grabs a card and hopes he hits fairy energy. And then he can use the other two cards. We'll see. But if he attacks me, we draw an energy, we can max potion my cargo. He's gonna Pokey Nav. Probably gonna find energy. He hasn't played one yet. He probably prized a few, I'm guessing. He's burned through a few of his decks so far. You know, his decks not as, you know, thinned it a bit. He probably prized a couple of energies, I think. I don't even know if he's gonna hit one off of his Pokey now. He's taken a while to play it. He's taken a while to play the Pokey now. Yep, he hit a Slugma. That's not an energy. Though he could have an energy in his hand and along with something else. But we KO this Gramble, he has no Snubbles in play. So, yeah. The only thing he can do is attack me with Psychic. 
Which I guess he could finish me off with, which would be a little annoying. And actually, I don't even know why he's playing DC then. That's a little annoying that he is, because that doesn't make any sense. Right, he's gonna do Instruct. I highly doubt he's gonna hit what he needs to do. attack me here. He's gonna Pokey Nav again. He's gotta find energy here. He's played, he's thin his deck so much. He's played a lot of his cards. He's gotta head and energy. He's gotta find it. No, he still doesn't find the energy. Bruh. Bruh. Sucks to suck. Okay, he's got one card in his hand. Can he play it? He can. And it's a town map. I'm actually curious. Does he have any energy prize? Just one. But he did prize a, a Snubble and a Ditto. Alright, now I'm really hoping we can draw an energy. We did. Perfect. We can do a big max potion. This is why max potion is beautiful in this deck. And we can be a seeker for blacksmith. The only way to get blacksmith back is with be a seeker at this point. Something to consider. But we can KO him here. Would probably not want to keep the energy on in case he goes for psychic. But we will get the prize. Another slugma. The other thing I'm really worried about is just not having all my blacksmiths when I need them. The only way to play blacksmith is again with Versus Seeker. Ooh, he had a Diantha in his hand. Bruh. He, this guy touched a Diantha. Huh? Wait, where's the flower blacksmith? I thought that was what was in the discard. I guess not. Okay, that's confusing. I guess we have our other blacksmith. I swear it was in the discard though. I swear our full art blacksmith in the discard. I don't know. That's that's a weird glitch. But it looks like we only have two in the discard then. Okay. I'm fine with that. Getting some good use of a max potion though. We're going to be able to take three prizes with Macargo. Probably Ultra Ball. Get rid of Battle Compressor and what we top deck. And then get another Macargo down. We probably definitely want to be going for multiple Macargos here. He's going to attack with Gramble this turn, it looks like. He's got to play that Stretcher Shuffle effect, though. This guy has got rid of... He's down three Grambles. We know one is not prized, but he probably has to play the Shuffle effect. Yep. Yeah, there we go. He's going to smooth over. It is pretty good, though, that he hasn't done much with Gramble, though. That max potion play was huge. That's why I like having the one max potion in my cargo. It's really useful. It is really, really useful. I mean, you can go, I can go both ways in standard, too. If we're playing against a standard Gramble deck, it'd be the same thing. But there's not much really to tell me this is an expanded deck, other than just Muscle Band and, like, that's literally it. Every other card in this deck is standard, right? Yep. I think Town Map is in the standard format. Pretty sure it is. I mean, he has Computer Search in there, right? No, he doesn't. Yeah, so... This is barely an, expand, an expanded deck. The only thing that gives it away is Muscle Band. The thing with Energy Recycle System is you could also replace that with Super Rod, which is probably better. So, I don't know. I would probably replace that Energy Recycle System, and I would probably just play Super Rod instead. If I were to be honest with you. Okay, so we know he's probably going to try and retreat and swing me with Gramble this turn. No, he isn't. That is nice. Really nice. So, we'll just Ultra Ball. We'll probably get rid of Slugma and Battle Compressor. We still have a few things to get him back. And we want to get this smooth over going. So, we're going to grab Macargo. We don't even have to do Blacksmith. But I'm going to do it anyways. I just smooth over for some fashion. Mmm, we do get the knockout regardless with the smooth over engine. So, I guess we'll just be a seeker for like Sycamore or whatever. I don't, I, I, like, if N would matter, it could. I mean, give him a hand of six. That technically does disrupt him. Sort of disrupts him. Um, I think we'll just smooth over for the energy. Crushing charge. And we'll knock out a Ranguru. It's nice to get rid of an Ranguru, too. Obviously, that can cripple him. You know, he needs both Instructs and double Macargo to pull off these combos with Gramble. Now, I know I could have Ultra Balled there and grabbed another 
Macargo GX. But again, we're not getting knocked out anytime soon. There's no way. Unless he, like, somehow pulls off a Vaporeon out of nowhere. But there's no way this guy's going to get a Vaporeon. That's another thing. Expanded Gramble can play Vaporeon and Flareon and Jolteon. So there's a lot of changes I would make to this Gramble list. Just saying. There's a lot of changes I would make. I probably want to find room for an Eevee line with Vaporeon, you know... Want to play super odd? Ooh, he's gonna do a Guzma, and I kind of saw that coming. Good thing I didn't evolve, so I can just re-evolve here. We just need to find like a super odd or stretcher here to get back Slugma. But you gotta remember, this is a Ditto, so we still have another Slugma in the deck, I guess. Let's see if he KOs me. If he doesn't, I mean, we do have our Guzma not in the discard pile. Yeah, rip. Yeah, so we're gonna be trapped in the active for like one turn at least. So I kind of just want him to knock me out, to be honest with you. Does he get it? He gets the energy? Does he get the knockout? Alright, he is gonna KO me here with Gramble. Which I'm fine with. Because he's only getting one prize card, and it's on something I don't really care about. Now, let's see what prize card he takes. If it lets me. Keep, stay open. Alright. What prize card is my opponent gonna take here? Let's find out. He's probably gonna take the... Treasure? Treasure is what I would take, because it gets you a card out of your hand. Let's see. I would grab treasure, though. Is that what he grabbed? Nope. Grab, did you, grab, you grab the fairy energy, huh? Okay. Fine. Let's bring out my cargo. See what we draw. Drew a Lele. Alright, good discard bait. We'll get rid of Chorus and Lele. We'll just grab the other Slugma here. We'll put Macargo down. Because we do want that ability back. We're looking pretty good. We'll just Blacksmith to the Macargo GX. Still has to deal with this big Macargo too, so there's something to know. We'll smooth over. We already have a Seeker in our hand. How many do we have left? One. Okay, good to know. <laughs> we'll grab probably just Macargo GX. It doesn't really matter, but we'll still grab it just in case he knocks that Slugma. And I could attach and instruct for one. He's not knocking me out, so I mean, I might as well do that. Sure. I don't hate that, and I don't think that matters. We're just Lava Flow. We just need two prizes to win, which shouldn't be too hard to take out two more Pokemon. And there's Guzma, so that's good. It's a good card to get. I should wrap up the game soon. He's probably able to gramble me here. So yeah, he's gonna put the fairy on the Ranguru. I highly doubt he's playing two DCs. He's actually doing Instruct. What? Okay. To be fair, I'm assuming he's looking for... Um... What's that card called? He's probably looking for... Like a Snubble, but still, like... I don't know. I might have just taken that. I don't know. I mean, there's not much my opponent can really do any, anyways. He's in a pretty bad spot. We just need two prizes to win. He can't one-shot Macargo here. He's only going to hit for 190. He could be playing Professor Kikui, though, so I do have to be prepared for that, I guess. I mean, considering this is a more of a like a standard-ish list, I would not be surprised if this grabbed a Kikui. But, I mean, if he plays Kikui, he does have to find a way to get his hand back down to zero. So, I don't know. He could QE me. We'll find out, I guess. No, he's going to Great Ball for Snubble, then. Or Macargo. Yeah, Macargo. Okay, never mind. Kind of the Macargo Wars this matchup. Smooth Over is helping him, and Smooth Over is helping me. But mine's better. I got the blinged out Reverse Hollow of Macargo. He's going to Nest Ball for Snubble. But we should survive. He'll have a zero card hand. But we live the turn. We'll have another Macargo GX to go. And we just need one prize to win the game. Which shouldn't be too hard to take. And I hope this prize... I think we have a Via Seeker prize, right? Yeah, we do. Hopefully this prize is first Seeker. Oh, that's why. It, the game turns Fuller Blacksmith into a Hollow Blacksmith. Because I have more Hollows in my discard pile. Then, yeah, there it is. There's the Fuller Blacksmith. That's hilarious. Alright, so. Just 190. Let's see what we draw. There's an energy. That's, like, all we really need. 
Might as well just do this and be a seeker blacksmith. We have Guzma, so this is, seems like a good time to do this now. In case he like tries to like trap me in the act or something, I don't know. We'll smooth over for an energy. Put it in our hand, I guess. Or actually, no, let's just attach it and guarantee the win. Never mind, I didn't mean to do... Whatever, who cares? I think we're fine. I think we're fine. It does not matter in all honesty. I don't think it matters. I could have went for Crushing Charge. Maybe if like there's anything I can get off that, I can just thin out in case he ends me to one. There's another energy. I was hoping that Blacksmith, that's fine. We do win the game here. He'd have to like end me to one and knock out Macargo on the same turn. So if he counter captures me and pulls that off, we could not survive the turn potentially because he could we could lose a Ranguru. Who knows? Ranguru might not get us our energy. Bit of a weird expanded match, not gonna lie, but I, I guess it counts. He has Muscle Band, which is a card in expanded, so this counts as an expanded match, despite this is obviously a more standard list of Gramble. And he's gonna all out. He's going all out, and just knowing that he loses here, which is fine. And that is game against Gramble. I mean, it's a matchup that, like, I think can be kind of hard because we're only getting one knockout a turn. In if we were playing standard, we would probably have lost, to be honest with you. Because we don't have Blacksmith. Blacksmith is what gives us the advantage. But you can see why Blacksmith is so good with Macargo. It, it just Blacksmith double knock double energy is all we really needed to do to carry this match. So like that's all we needed. And what is Lava Flow for the game? Against Granbull here in expanded. I would definitely try and edit this deck a little bit more. I've, there's more expanded cards you can add. There's stuff like maintenance you can probably add, and we got the challenge done. But I am gonna wrap the day's PC Joe video here. This recording bit I've done has already been 25 minutes, so that's insane. But I'm going to wrap up today's PC Joe video here. We didn't really get to play in that many crazy expanded decks, but Macargo and Expanded, I do think, can work, and I think it is pretty good thanks to Blacksmith. It definitely has the potential to be a very aggressive deck if you get it going. Um, it might struggle against Water. Archie's Blastoise is an auto loss, so if you're fearful of that deck, don't bother playing this. <laughs> It's good. I mean, and I mean, insane like Vaporeon. Like, you can actually play Vaporeon in EV in this deck if you really wanted to, because Macargo is a stage one. So if you wanted to play Vaporeon, you wanted to play like Jolteon, but you probably, I mean, Vaporeon wouldn't be terrible. That would give you the water type you need. But that are these PCO video. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to Hell Road to four thousand subscribers. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to help me hit four K subs. And I'll catch you guys on another PCO video. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and peace out. Bye.